Previously on the Soil Health Minute, we've talked about using cereal rye as a tool in your cover crop mix. Today we're going to talk more about some other options for cover crops, including oats and barley. In this field, we have a fall seeded cover crop that included 32 pounds per acre oats. The reason we like to use oats are that you get a little bit less growth in the fall and you get a really nice mellow residue to plant into the following spring. Oats are a good option to use a little bit extra moisture, but also oats will winter kill. So what's really nice about having a fall seeded cover crop is that you really stimulate the, the soil microbes and also the earthworms later in the season. And so here we actually have a bunch of earthworm casts on the surface. And so this is a really great indication of a healthy soil and that there's a lot of activity in here. We're in another field now that had barley as a cover crop last fall at the same rate, again, 32 pounds per acre. And you can see that the residue here is completely different from the oat field that we were just in. Much taller and much stiffer than the oats, and it grew a little bit longer than the oats did in the fall season. So again, we have another cover crop that will terminate with winter kill. And we also have, again, this really incredible um, earthworm activity that was occurring in this soil in the fall. Barley is an excellent choice as a fall seeded cover crop, especially on salt affected fields. So if you have salinity issues, following whatever crop you have with something like barley could really help use moisture and manage salts. We've looked at fall season cover crop mixes, including oats and barley. Those two, in addition to cereal rye, are excellent options for getting a cover crop in your rotation. When selecting the grass component of your cover crop mix, think about the type of residue you want in the spring and also the next crop in your rotation.